Hi, my name is Robert Steltman. Today I'm going to show you some grading tools using Civil 3D. First off, we're going to select blocks at lot endpoints from the Site Tools pull down. We're going to have it put a block at each endpoint of each line on, a, on the layer we select. There we go, OK. Tell it what surface we want to query and pick a line. And you can see that it's placed elevations on all the lot corners. There are tools for... Uh, you, you can run the tool again and then just um, do it by select and select individual entities if you need to add additional lines. Next we're going to select the lock corner delta elevation from center line. We select our road one and we're going to have it automatically find all blocks 15 meters each side of center line. Go enter, enter the left side we want 0.2 higher than the center line, the right side maybe 0.3. We go OK and all of the blocks have been updated. Now at this point we can do a number of different ways. We can do individual uh, lot site or grading. Should we, if you have basements you can use the one lot design. Um, if you're in Dallas and you need to have a lot of elevations on the, the center line, the gutter lines, uh, back a curb, we can have use lot line designer, or if you um, need to do pad elevations, you go just use pad uh, the pad tools. One lot, we select the lot number, piece of text, we select the low side, the high side front, and the high side back, and here's where we can place whatever we want on here. So we're going to start off with a walkout. And uh, then once we've got that walkout, I'm going to actually set the back at the bottom of the bank at the back of the house. And we're going to do a three-point walkout, or we can try a three-point back split. And that will give us 2% uh, up to the split point, goes down 2%, then 3 to 1, and then finally 2%. If you're happy with that, you just go OK, and all of those elevations get placed on your drawing. Alternately, we can use the lot line editor to place a number of elevations. You select any lot line that fronts it. Um, you can set your um, gutter line what you want. You can have it plot any of these. So we're going to have it do a gutter, then one uh, unit over we're going to have at the top a curb. These are the delta elevations. These are the grades. And these uh, elevations we're going to put on uh, at these offsets. Select OK and all the elevations get placed on there. Should you need to change it, you just select it again and it remembers all of the relationships between the points and you can update them easily. Should you want to do pads, we have Dynalot pad side to side. Select the line in between, pick this one, pick the next lot and you can set whatever grade you want between the two and it will do that. Then we're going to do the next line and it just draws in 3D polylines showing our pads. The last one I'm going to show you is pad back to 3D polyline. We want to go down at 3%. We pick our back of property 3D polyline and we pick our back of pad 3D polyline and it will generate a new 3D polyline and you can actually view that with edit a 3D polyline and there's the steps. Just another example of how Steltman software... Oh, one last tool we're going to show you is setting a number of elevations along a polyline. Select the polyline, it grabs all of those blocks, and this is what it looks like. You can set any three, four, whatever you want. We can set grades on any of the blocks. Uh, using the shift key, we're going to go up at 2% and we change that grade and maybe we want this at minus 2, change, you go OK and all the blocks get updated. Tools to help you be more productive using Civil 3D.